Welcome back, friends and fellow adventurers. Today, we release the 48th campaign episode of Cocked, a real play RPG podcast. The 50th episode milestone is just around the corner. However, that milestone will be a little delayed, as after next week's episode, we will be taking a little break from the main campaign and returning to the world of Wimselton, created by our very own Reggie Morris, who will DM an adventure for the cast, including myself, as we all play level 20 characters who are trying to prevent a doomsday event. Last week, the party continued their pursuit of a brone through the tunnels and found some old mining shafts that have filled with water. Braca decided to use magic and allow himself to breathe under the water and jumped in, sinking below the waterline without informing the rest of the party. We catch up with Braca as he continues to investigate the water around the wooden chamber that goes down and then in through one of the walls. Oh, he's at the bottom? Holy crap. So I'm at the bottom bottom now? You're about 30 feet from it. From what you can make out, you would think that it could be about 30 feet from it. Bottom. I can't just not move the extra 30. I'll move, I'll dash and move 30. Mm-hmm. So you get to where it looks like is the bottom, and you can see there is a tunnel that looks like it was. This doesn't look like tools created it. Like something dug? You can. I would say with your 30 feet down, you're able to get to the entrance of it. You can use your action to investigate next turn. Okay, cool. I'll do that. So I'm a hundred and thirty, hundred and sixty feet, or a hundred and fifty. You're about a hundred and hundred and fifty. Okay. Cool. How long has it been? I mean, not ten minutes. I understand that, but it's only been about a, a minute that he's been underwater at oh, this point. Oh, yeah. whoa. Okay. All right. Yeah, because he—it's been about, I'd say. Probably a, mi- a minute's ten five or five or six my, my rounds. Point is, I understand it's not ten, but if it's like six, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, he he's still uh, within the first minute. He went Damn, down and wow. he's like on a mission, swimming down, sure, trying to figure this out. Water monitor type oh, swimming. Yep. Yeah, yep. Just missile down. <laughs> and then they're gone. The goblin watched Katie and Agard walk into the other room. You hear it sounds like footsteps receding away from you as he begins to head back to join Puck and the others. And then Agard, you are up. Okay, Agard is going to walk up to the edge of the pool of water or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And the structure is there, so I can see that now. Yes, um, so you could see it when Katie came in the room. Yeah. It's probably about 15 feet from where you are. Okay. Can Agard, in his bear form, um, who, who feels 16 better, uh, <laughs> can he... He has keen smell. Can mm-hmm. he smell around the edge of the pool to see if he feels as though this Brocka was there? Yeah. Huh? This is like catch Brocka. So yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. It's a wisdom perception check that I get advantage on. So that's a 26, or... We're going to go with the 26. <laughs> um, okay. So he, he's sniffing around. You do pick up Braca's scent, mm-hmm. um, and it ends right at the edge of the water. Okay. Not understanding how Braca would be gone water for so long. Um, and you see the water is murky. Oh, it's really murky for Agar with very little light. Uh, he's gonna swim out to the platform. Okay. Yeah, you can get to the platform. Okay. Um, you can climb up. It's only about a foot out of the water, so you're able to kind of climb and get up. Yeah. Um, onto the, the uh, platform itself. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. He'd have to swim. Just try to jump to it. <laughs> He's a large beast, so... Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. So he gets up on top of the, the thing. Yep, so he's able to get up on top of the... Uh, so platform. it's like a closed top? 
or it's open like down like i'm, I'm trying to it's a it's a it's a closed top it's a platform that has a flat top on it yeah yeah as agard begins to look around in bare form there is what looks like a hatch in okay. the middle of it a square hatch that is um built into it that you could try to open or lift uh-huh okay with posable so, yeah, thumbs he, oh i can get it with bear claw you can try okay he's gonna try what do you want to do dex um sure yeah you can do dex 12 you are able to like the gold ring that is on it you start messing with it and you can katie standing on the the shore you watched Agard swim over and get on there and you can hear this clink 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 as he's like trying to you can see his paws messing with something trying to figure it out and you can just hear this sound of like metal kind of falling and banging against wood kind of like those old school knockers on doors yeah gotcha i think at the end he would probably be getting frustrated bear you see where bears are like they're trying to get into something like they'll raise up and then start bouncing yeah. on top of it with their front paws that's what he's doing at this point so it's <laughs> growling and <laughs> <laughs> then, then he makes the like the thing collapse. <laughs> Katie, you did see him stick his nose in the air too, like he was sniffing to smell, and then he swam to the middle platform. And Katie, you are up. I'm trying to think. I don't. I don't know if Katie's ever swam before. First time for everything. <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, I had an idea. I'm like, I'm not metagaming. Sorry. <laughs> hey, oh, I'm sorry. DM, p- permission to metagame? <laughs> no, don't, don't. Stop, stop. Hang on. I'm fighting it. Okay, um, I didn't. Sure. God. She's gonna. Tr- she's gonna try it. She rolled a 16. Yes. That's, that's a double of inspiration. I hate it. What'd I you get? What'd you roll? I wrote. Ow. How did I? itch my nose and then cut myself with my own nail. Ow. <sighs> Alright, let's get back to it. Katie's gonna drown. She might. Um, she's gonna come up to the... She tries to swim and scratches herself. I hate this so much. She's gonna go up to the, I guess, shore? Oh. Yeah, just the edge of the... Yeah. What? No, it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is a short. And um, she's gonna do that stupid little like dip her toes in for a second to see like the temperature of the water, like and like bring back her foot a little bit, like ooh. She was um, rocking metal shavings. In the water. Like, do I try this? The water is approximately thirty nine degrees. Holy hell! Ooh, whoa, I mean, yeah, it's cave water, yeah. Oh wait, it's not affected to me. I'm cold. I'm a white dragon. So white dragon more. She's like, ooh, this is cold. I don't know. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> I even have my picture right here. Shit. All right, and I'm gonna try to, try to swim over to the platform. This is so unhinged. This is more unhinged than usual, so I apologize. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Um, so I'll try to swim over to the platform. <laughs> okay. You, you make it. Wow, he's not even going to make me roll for that? I mean, I didn't make Barry Guard roll. For but he swam before. That's a little too easy. All right. I'm like, all right, fine, I make it. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, um, I'm sorry, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> who was that voice? Okay, can I say what my idea was now that she already did something else? Yeah. Yes. I was going to say you should get out the removable rod and like put it out in front of you and like oh, run, God bless grab it. it, and do like a... Like a I always forget my shit. All right. Oh, the rest of us know you have it because we love it. You don't use it. I'm sorry, I forgot about it. I will make sure to make... A movable rod. Rods and raptors. Or, you know, random thought. Where's Alfred? I forgot about him. He's up with uh, Julianne. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Because Julianne is... Um, they hide in 
Because our DM can't multi. Um, no, because you guys no. keep trying to make me have a conversation with myself. Because there are two dragons, and one was enclosed for their entire life. But I think last week we were a little bad about. It. Hey, uh, um, why don't you two? <laughs> yeah, yeah why, why don't you? Why don't you three? Puck, why, why don't, don't you tell? Well, I mean, <laughs> Puck, why don't you tell okay, Julian so about, about Alfred? So how about out of game? Julian and Alfred have a conversation, and then we come back, and Alfred or Julian will tell us about the. Julian's sure. pregnant. Wow. It happens fast with dragons. Just imagine dragons. <laughs> I'm so proud of yourself for that one. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at full plume. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Are we done? So Thro- throwing it all away. Katie Drown. Wants to be my yeah. Enemy. Well, no, he made it too easy. I made it. There's no drama. There's no. There's no story. You know. Well, it's, no, not, that, there's no it's not that far away. Gasping for You're air. At the edge of what's a very comfortable temperature for you. Yeah, because I'm. And I'm you a just push dragon. off. And you're there. <laughs> I mean. Calm down, Greg it's not like a So big wait, pole. I could have jumped and made it. Like yeah. that's how close it is. It's about fifteen feet. If you got a running start, you could have jumped and tried to make it, but you said you were just going to swim to it. So math. I mean, it's Katie. Like she wouldn't have thought about that. And then I guess I <laughs> thought I was done with my turn, but I'm not. So no, you, um, you moved fifteen feet. I'm looking at whatever Beauregard, Beauregard is looking at. You see what looks like a square hatch in the middle of the platform with a gold ring that's kind of tarnished and not as bright as it once was. So she goes to staring at Beauregard, pick it up, and Beauregard is just pull it up (laughs) as it slams over on the other side. And you are standing there looking at a dark hole that just extends down. Okay. Are there stairs leading down? Or like a ladder thing? As you begin to kind of look around, you do see like notches that go down. But we can't see the floor. Nope. You can't see the floor. Even with my little vial of light. Nope. And that's... Calm yourself. It's not that deep. So out of out of game, okay? (laughs) So you swam down alongside this thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I missed that part. I apologize. Yeah, see, my my thought process was even if there was like a ladder on the inside. Alex as well anymore. What? (laughs) All right. (laughs) Sorry. My my thought I'm process sorry. was um even though like even if there was a ladder or notches yep. or whatever on the inside, <laughs> if I swam just straight down, uh. I could like torpedo down, yeah. it'd probably be quicker than me just like mm. going down a like ladder. Or like gotcha. dropping down a pit. Sure. Well, dropping I just, down a pit I just missed that part. By the way. If, Never mind. If one, if one of you Jesus. drop something down here, Brock is gonna have like a heart attack at the bottom of. <laughs> the I don't have anything the... to drop though. Agar's just gonna drop bear form and fire moonbeam down the shaft. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. No. That's not a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, I so I'll look at Bear Regard. Mm-hmm. Um. I can't I can't see the bottom. Do you think do you think we should go down? Okay. Uh figure it's not gonna do anything until his It's a yes or a no turn. Head shake. He wants to do something first, but it's oh, not his turn so he can't do something. I gotcha. So I'm so just gonna... waiting. Mm-hmm. You just see Agar or Bear Guard with his head down, like in the hole, like you hear and you hear him <laughs> sniffing oh, real hard. Okay. Okay, Brock, you're up. So I see a I see a hole, mm-hmm. right? And, not, and I'm at the bottom, or it seems like the bottom, because yes. yeah, there are like stalagmites sticking out yep. and everything. How, like, what's the like circumference of it? it? It's the same size as what it was above. It's only about thirty feet wide by probably forty feet long. You like, do you see that in it, the wall, or like? Are you talking about the other? 
tunnel kind of branching off. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, probably about 10 feet wide. Oh, okay. Okay. About 10 feet tall. Okay. But besides that, does it keep going down? Or is this, this like... This is like the bottom. I mean, it kind of goes into darkness as you look into that tunnel. Right, but like, just just to confirm, like the stalagmites and everything beneath. Oh the, yeah, you that, you that's, are that's you are bottom. at a solid ground where you're okay. at right now. Okay, cool. How far am I from the um the bottom of the beam coming down? Like fifty feet. You're about fifty feet. Okay. Brock is gonna wait and um just swim. To the um to the bottom of the, of the uh. Are you the, gonna start moving towards it right now or? Yeah, he, he'll um he'll double move and like, cause like he cause he saw the bottom but he didn't actually like look like up it I guess. Okay. So he just wants to really like go over there and like double check that this is like like this actually leads up and not just like I don't know something else. So the bottom of wait you have pieced together is the platform that came down the center. Yeah of the chamber as you swim up underneath it you realize that there there's about two feet between the bottom of it or where you perceived the bottom was and where the actual bottom is Mm. and that gap between there is air oh okay so it's just a like an air bubble Mm -hmm. okay i guess brock will just like peek his head like, cause so the bottom's exposed then. So right? as you kind of poke your head up, you see what looks like a rope ladder that once extended further down, and the edges that are in the water look like they are kind of deteriorated. Like over time, they have right. kind of shred. Okay. But it does look like there's a like a rope ring ladder that goes up, and there's a small hatch in the bottom as you look up. How far? How far do I? Have it's only it's only about two feet from you. Okay, so, so just open I would it. say you're able to get to the hatch. You probably wouldn't be able to open it this turn since you um, double move right. to get okay. there. Okay. But you're able to start climbing up on the rope and get to where you can grab the handle to pull it open. Okay. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. I know what they're doing. The goblin disappeared and went after. Agard, you're up. Okay, Agard is going to... He's going to put his big bare head down the hole and do the keen smell again. See if we can smell if Brocka went down into the middle shaft area. Okay. That is a 20 or a 14. We're going to go with the dirty 20. You do not smell the scent of Brocka. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, after that hatch was opened and you stuck your head in there, the air smells very stale. Mm. Um, like, this probably hasn't been used for a little while. Okay. Let me know how long I can go with this turn before I need to... Sure. Does he... Can... Bear guard... Do you make like an in, can I do an insight roll to see if he can figure out from the smell at the edge of the water mm-hmm. and then not smelling him here that he went down into the water I wouldn't say that you could figure out he went down into the water you know where it disappeared and right. it did not disappear on this platform it disappeared right before the edge of the water you can roll a wisdom to see if you okay. can kind of deduce that but yeah let's okay. do a wisdom check that is an 18 okay yeah you, okay. you kind of deduce that you believe he went into the water so the last thing that Bear Guard would want to do then, just kind of knowing how things in nature work, he is going to bear roar as loud as he can, like stick his head down into the, the door and just roar as loud as he possibly can. I think bear, like grizzly bear roar roars can be heard from like... No, Should we look it up? Miles. Please, please look it up so we get Should the exact science on this. Yes, <laughs> we please. need to know the decibel, the vibrations in the water. Yeah, like, what's huh. the level exactly? Change of plans. Bear guard grabs Katie and throws her ass <laughs> down the. <laughs> so instead of having a roar, there's just a thump on. <laughs> the, on, the, on, the, on the, I don't. Know, <laughs> I don't know. It depends. If you open the hatch in time, maybe she'll just go straight through right. it, and then Brock and Katie will collide oh into the water. Gosh. Roll a perception check with advantage. Okay. I'm gonna... 
I rolled a nat one and a twenty one. We'll give you the twenty one. Yes. Nice. Um, you're able to. You do hear what sounds like as you get to the hatch at the bottom. You hear what sounds like a roar from a bear, kind of reverberate through. Okay. Um, Rocco would like probably jump, and then probably realize that they're weird for a bear to be down here. So it's probably a guard. Um, you you did know that Agard was in bear form when you left him last. Yeah, yeah. A little Brock of poop comes out. Yeah, you know. And it floats up to the oh, top real, of the real surface. Real stinky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, they, oh, there's Brock up. And, and now, and now Bear Guard's like, regretting keen smell. Like, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, that's... that's um, And then he just kind of looked up at Katie. Just like... Okay. okay. Katie, you are up, and after this, we'll drop turn order. Thank and God. Um, she'll just start heading down the shaft. Okay. You get a double move? With my vial, yes. <laughs> like, I have the vial, like, it's shaken up and it's on my hip. Okay. So I have the light. Uh, yeah, I was like, uh, let, let's say it's attached to something so you're not holding it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. That would make the next check a little oh, difficult. Shake it and then attach it to my... Make a... What is it called? The belt? Gi. Hmm. Make a... Holds my gi. Dexterity together. saving throw. What? Oh, no. Those are real small handholds. They're really old. Dex, you said? Mm-hmm. Uh, 13. 13? So you begin to <clears throat> descend, and the fifth or sixth rung that you grab, you hear it sounds like it is getting ready to break, but you're able to quickly let go and grab the next one, and nothing happens, and you're able to continue down. You make it about 60 feet down on the stern. Uh, hey guard, they're they're a bit rusty. I would be careful if you come down. Agar's I don't know where fit. she How got southern from. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be careful when you come in. Ain't large bee size. <laughs> yeah, you're Barry couldn't do that. You'd have to drop bear form. It was the Beauregard thing. Agar <laughs> just closed the hatch. Oh my god! I hate you so much. So, you see a Paul. <laughs> so, you would too, thinking it's a prank. <laughs> that's he, true. That he, is he sets his hand prank. right over the pole and just. Oh and my then god! And then he does that, and you just hear him at the top. Uh, uh, uh. When he laughed at Finley. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> so, Braca, you heard the bear roar. You are at the bottom of the enclosure at a hatch. What would you like to do? Just open the hatch. How are you opening it? Underwater? It's not underwater. Oh. You're just pulling it, I guess. You try to pull it first? Make a uh, strength saving throw. Okay. Does my Before I do that, does my passive investigation tell me anything since I already committed to like pulling it? It, it might, depending on what you roll. Oh, no. you I want, am... My passive investigation is 18. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, no. roll, roll a strength check. Strength check or save? Well, it's the same thing. Check. Oh, 18? Oh, 18? Wow. Yeah, I rolled a 19 minus one. Oh, no. So, <laughs> you get up there and you start to pull on this hatch, and then you get your other hand up, and you pull as hard as you can down, and your feet let loose from the rope ladder that you were, had your feet on and the door that you're grabbing that you pull on breaks off the old hinges that have been there and falls with you into the water as you are kind of in the water and Katie you do hear a splash down at the bottom I'm following okay, and a guard, bear guard can hear this too you begin to look around and you realize that the frame that was around the door is also in the water with you. It was probably a push door to push it open rather than pull it, but 
you got annoyed with it and used all your well, strength well, to rip well, that, it open. That's why I asked about my passive investigation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you didn't roll an 18 and, like, hulk it off the... Because it wasn't hard because it was old. So it was kind of rusted and it's been near the water. But it also wasn't a 12 to pull it off. It was a 15. You rolled an 18. So you, you like... This is one of the only times the, the, the one ever Herculean thing Brock has ever hulked anything off. Gonna wow. do. <laughs> but, yeah. So you rip it free. Um, and as you swim... You don't have to swim back up to the surface because you didn't. You just fell just under, and you're kind of bobbing there. You're able to climb up and get into um, the actual okay. enclosure. But the rest of the like shaft isn't like affected though. I don't hear like creaking going throughout it. Okay, so it's just the bottom broke off. No, but as you do get into the enclosure and you look up, you can see um, what looks like a uh, light, just like from one of your vials, about forty feet above you. Okay. <laughs> Science, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> you have a basically a, a vacuumed mm-hmm. area mm-hmm. that we have the top open to, and now we just open the bottom. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm I'm sorry. I thought this was fantasy. It is. Didn't your giant spiders have unlimited webbing, and that's not the real case no, for giant spiders? No, and that's what that's my point was. Saying I never said that. That was all you. So anyway, <laughs> am I thinking of this the right way? Uh huh. That, okay, yeah. that's gonna. Okay, I got you. I'm just curious on that. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Stop your curiosity. Um, so, Brock, I would imagine, falls back into the water with the bottom oh, yeah. up. Okay. Oh yeah, and you you were able to realize what it was, and if you would like, you're able to climb up the rope ladder and get in on this turn. Yeah. Well, Brock, for a second, is gonna like be like kind of impressed, but then he's gonna be like, "Wait, I have to do something." Cause, like I ripped like the bottom of it off. Um, and then climb up. Do I like? Do I see the light and everything? Yep, you can see the light descending towards you. It's about forty feet above you. Now, where you're standing and looking, what you had seen in the water that were enclosed areas look like mine shafts heading off in two different directions. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I guess. Brock will just shout up. Just he'll just say hello. Just up the up the shaft. What? You say hello. Yeah, just shout hello. Do you say it in common or draconic? It's common. Kitty, how do you respond? Brock, is that you? Uh, probably. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yes, it's it's me. Probably. Oh, okay. We we were trying to find you. Where where'd you go? Uh, I swam down here. That's all she's got. She does she does not understand what he means by swam. We'll drop turn order here so you guys can have this conversation. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so can I make it down then? Yeah, you're able to make it to the bottom. Cool. Rocky, you notice that by the time she gets down there, you are now standing in what seems like a couple inches of water. And as you look over where you came in, the water is now quickly rising. There's no longer an air pocket between the bottom and where it is. Right. Okay. Well, I guess seeing that, Brock will panic and just say, climb back up very quickly. What? Oh, okay. How, how fast is it rising? Like, very rapidly? Pretty quick. How much longer do I have on my, um, my thing? My aquatic adaptation? Um, I'd say you probably have another, like, five minutes. Okay. At this um, point. Do, do I think it's gonna, like, so, it's just gonna flood, like, the air pocket, I think, or is it gonna flood completely? <laughs> It's already past that air pocket. It's now like that's what I'm saying is it's well, now well, I, inside. I mean, I mean like the like the shaft. That's what I mean. You feel like it? I mean, it's starting to come in. Okay. Put it this way: take a straw, put your finger over the top hole, put it down into a thing of water. As soon as you release that bit at the top, water is going to shoot up into the thing. Oh my god! So you feel like the water is rising pretty rapidly. Okay. Brock is going to say to Katie. Climb back up very quickly with a guard. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go back down. Wait, what? You're gonna go back down? Just There's water. Yeah, I know. 
I mean, I swam all the way down here. Uh, you swam all the way down here? Yeah. Oh, okay. The water is now, like, shoulder height for Baraka at this point. Okay. Uh, well, she's just going to trust what he says and so it's getting, climb it's back, back up. Being sucked in from mm-hmm. beneath it, right? Yeah, from underneath it's slowly coming in. See, if I was... I, I wouldn't even say slowly. It's no. If I was rapidly. a smart person in real life, I could have realized that, you know, your analogy. I could have realized that. But yeah, no, not. no, no. I just... I, just, I, I remember something about... I don't remember where I got it from, but... So it's the vacuum that's what it creates. So mm-hmm. it's fun playing twenty intelligence characters when you don't. Have 20 <laughs> hey, IRL, I'm working with the two. So no, you're not. <laughs> I agree. Maybe. For but, your two, I know. Um, Raka will. What what direction is the the uh, the tunnel like near the bottom going in? It looks like one is headed back in the direction you went to get to the platform. And the other one is going, like, laterally from that room. So there's two at the bottom? Mm, there's two at the bottom, yeah. Okay. I guess, like, whichever... If, the, the one that he saw first, like, right when he got down there, Brock will go through. Okay, so that's headed this way. Yeah. Um, that's headed back towards where the shore was when you went into the water. So you're going to take off going that way, that yeah. direction? So the only thing that's going to save you, well, other than the amphibian thing, is the fact that it's not just going to fill up in this one section. It's going to fill up in the whole thing. So even though it's filling up rapidly, it seems slow because of how much space it is starting to fill. Okay. You can make it, I would say, because of everything that's happened, you could make it, well, we're not in turn order. How far do you want to go down that tunnel? I mean, I guess how as far as I can. If, if I if I need to make another one of those potions, I will. I mean, I'll put it this way: you're gonna be in it for a couple minutes, and we'll shoot over to Katie and Agar. Are you like just continuing, even if it takes you a few minutes, and you're still in it? I mean, I guess not. I'll just go back. No, I'm, I'm asking what, what would Braca do? Because, I mean, I know he's curious. So if he would continue on down that mine shaft, then all means go. Well, because my, my whole thought process is it, like, pops up somewhere else. That's the whole reason why I wanted to swim down here in the first place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I guess, I don't, I, I don't know. What would you like to do? Do you want to continue following it? Because, I mean, we can do that. It's just... I'm going to have you out of game for a minute while Katie and Agard yeah, sure. discuss it when she gets up top. But, I mean, you can move and find the exit to it. Yeah. Okay. Agard, you are at the top. Yep. You, looking down, can see Katie quickly approaching mm-hmm. and climbing up. Katie, it doesn't take you too long. You get to the top rather quickly. You did see Braca disappear into one of the tunnels as you started climbing. Um, I, I found Braca, but then he went back down. But wherever we were, it started filling with water. I don't, I don't. He wanted to stay down there. I don't, I don't know. He said he swam all the way down, but now it's filling up with water. I think we need to head back over to the shore. Yeah, is, is, wait, whose turn is it? Is it mine? Or, oh, okay. It's not, we're not in turn order. Oh, we're not in drop turn order. order. Okay. Oh, so that's right. So, Brock okay. is I lied. running okay. through the mine shaft while you guys are having this conversation up top. Um, okay. So, Vergar just hears this and jumps in the water and swims over and gets to the other side. Okay. So, Katie, you saw Barry. Bear regard, swim across back to shore for you. Yeah, you and I would thing? head over back to the shore as well. Okay. And just kind of looking down at the water, waiting to see if Brock is coming back up. Hearing that the thing is filling up with water, Bear Guard's going to back up. Okay. I, I got to think that there's a quite a bit of wind noise now coming out from the hatch. It's building. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna 
back up close to the entrance of the room. Brockett takes you a couple minutes. At this point, you have began to swim. You will probably need to make another potion before it gets to the point that you can't do anything with your hands because it's the same as that platform. It's about 10 by 10, um, the area that you're in, and it began filling up pretty quickly, and you're only two feet tall. So we're going to say you were able to make another one of those potions because you did say you wanted to make another one if you had to. Mm -hmm. You would. You were able to do that and take one, so you have another, like, 10 minutes. We're going to say the first one expired while you were swimming when you got to what looks like another another ladder headed up, similar to what you saw on the inside of the last one. Okay. Like, it looks the exact same? Um, not the exact same. But, I mean, it looks the same style. It's not a rope ladder here, though, because it's not underneath. And as you look down, there is um, not a door in the bottom of it like there was at the one you were in. There are handholds that now extend up the wall, similar to what were in the other one. Okay. Is there just still water in here? Oh, yeah. Okay, Brock will just swim up. So as you start to swim up, you make it about 20 feet up, and you get to where the top of the water is and at this point it is quickly rising way faster than it was before Um, but you are able to switch to the handles if you want and climb faster climb or like swim yeah because you're at the top of where the water is right now it's about 20 feet up okay and you get to where the top of the water is you could grab onto the handles and climb faster than just try to swim sure yeah Um, you get to the top and the uh, door there is sealed make a um, strength saving throw. Or you should be sure to read for push or pull this time. 11. 11? So you are pushing and pushing on it and it just it doesn't seem to be budging. Um, and as you keep pushing and pushing it just nothing happens. We're going to wait there for a minute. The water is rapidly rising. It's about 20 feet from you at this point. So Ooh. I mean, it's cleared about 60 feet in about 10 seconds, and it's moving fast at you. Right. While <clears throat> Katie and Eric... Here we go. Eric. So, as uh, Katie and Agard are kind of sitting on the shore, they're there for a couple minutes, and all of a sudden, it's like a geyser. Like, water just shoots yeah. out of the top of the... <laughs> and the top of the platform, you just watch as chunks of wood just explode from the top of this platform and just go everywhere and once the water comes through it kind of settles now and goes back and you can't see the top of the water but you all or well you can actually now because the top of the platform is no longer there yeah (laughs) that's why Agar backed up to the entrance (laughs) nice Uh, okay the overall water level though did go down a little in the room sure it's displacing elsewhere now. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I think once it's settled, the air guard's going to walk up, quickly walk up to the edge of the water and just kind of look down. Is it still real murky at this point, or did mm-hmm. we blow no, out a lot no, of... No, it's pretty murky. Okay. Because all the debris and the sediment now is blown all over the place in this place. <laughs> if, he, if he doesn't see anything pretty quickly, he's going to think... Brock went someplace else, so he's going to kind of nudge Katie and move his head towards the, the doorway again to say we probably should move on because he's not here. Oh. I don't know if she, we want to roll an insight to Bo- see why. Both yeah. of you uh, make an insight on what Agar said first and then perception for Agar. Okay, so... It was a uh, twelve for the first one. What was it? You, you don't have to worry Insight? about insight. Okay. Insights just for JD trying to figure out what um, nineteen for perception. Okay. Fourteen. So you do not see anything from the debris. You don't see any. You're not able to make out any blood either. So you don't think that anything was injured. It just looks like a lot of wood and everything around. With your insight, you're able to figure out that Agard was trying to say, "Hey, let's let's move on to the next room." Um, would you like to do a perception check as well 
um, seeing if you can see any blood or anything like that, like maybe Rocco was injured. No, because I don't think Katie wouldn't believe that a guard would move on. She's seen his loyalty to his friends okay. plenty of times, so I would at least, trust. At least Katie sees it. Trust what he is telling me and follow. Okay. You guys are able to follow. Just plimming all over the place today, aren't ya? So proud of yourself. I'm before, sorry, DM you Before. Before, <laughs> before we get there, Raka, make a strength saving throw with disadvantage. It's a seven. Disadvantage really got me. I got a 15 on the first one. <laughs> This is where we're going to end this week's episode, as the party inadvertently blew up the pressurized mine shaft, and Braca is running through what's left of the shaft for his life while the others search the water they saw Braca disappear into and find no signs of blood or a tiny kobold body. Thank you, friends and fellow adventurers, for tuning into our adventure here at Cocked, a real play RPG podcast. A big thank you to each and every one of our fellow adventurers and listeners as this show would not be what it is without you all. Also, a very big thank you again to Titan Craft for your help and your sponsor of the giveaway, and Nerdius Maximus for his support in additions to the show. The ambient noise and our custom new intro are amazing, and thank you, Nerdius. And of course, tune in next week to see what happens as Braca is frantically trying to open the hatch as the water pressure and level is rising beneath him. three hours 50 minutes and uh two and a half hours of it is just shit <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say an hour and a half hey guess but... what guys we got 984 hours and 41 minutes remaining so for just space, oh, yeah. oh, let's go oh. <laughs> it'll, it'll go back up soon should where, we do a 24 hour stream one time and where? see how far we can get with delirium Oh God! I I'd, I'd be down for that if we could plan actually, that out. Yeah, if we could plan that and, out, I and mind. and we would need to like live stream on Twitch or something like that. Like right. we yeah. have to do. Oh, I'd I'd be down. Yeah, like raise like pick <laughs> a charity and just raise funds for it. That'd be rough. Let's see how long we can right. gain. That'd be super rough. I think by the end of it, I me as a person would just seep into my character. We would to then just have to take everybody. like six months off. <laughs> by, <laughs> by, <laughs> by the end of that. Each other. By the end of that, your camera would be you like this. <laughs> right, I'd get into my phone. With like, like four Red Bulls yeah. in front of you. It'd be like an anti-Red and Bull And the rest campaign. of the episode would be her putting Amazon shit together. I'm sorry. I Don't be sorry. I'm struggling with, you. with focus tonight. I am so bad yeah, tonight. Yeah, it's just tonight. What were we doing in game? <laughs> <laughs> so, Beauregard... Oh, was hello. throwing a fit 